Hey YouTubers, Chef Coco here. I'm in my backyard setting up and showing you my two uh, Big Agnes tents. On the side I have my UL2HV uh, Fly Creek tent. On this side I have my uh, Tiger Wall HV UL2 tent. They're a little different. This one has one door. These have two doors. So what I'm going to do is just set up the, uh, finish setting up the, um, the, the tiger wall tent. Um, when setting this up, the poles come color coded so you know where each one goes. Especially on the fly creek, that is more color coded than this one. Uh, the tiger wall is just a little bit different because you got these brackets right here that you have to hook up in between in the middle there. So what I'm gonna try and do is start off at this end over here to put in my rods. And don't mind my crazy dog running around my yard. He thinks every second outside is playtime. So I just inserted those into the grommets there then I'm going to come down and find the center hook for here. And this is gray. Those two points up there are yellow. This here is gray. So it, this one also is color coded for you to know where to put your poles. I have to push that stake down so I don't trip over it anymore. But also there's a pull out at this grommet so you can pull that taunt also. So I will do that now since I got my pull in. So this way it stretches out the base of your floor so you have more room inside. I've only set this tent up one time and it was right when I brought it out on a camping trip. Never set it up before and just set it up. It wasn't too hard to do at all but you get these first two hooks hooked up right here then you got these side poles on the side where these um, rods go into and all you do is just snap it on like that I'm gonna go to the other side and get the other one on this side as well you pull it out Snap it on. And then finish finish with the clips here. So I'm just going to finish hooking up my clips to the rest of the poles here. And Unsure. Oh, I know why I didn't. I did not put this in to itself like this. Make sure that when you do this, that I'm going to unhook one end so I can get it. Make sure that you have this in all the way. So that way, now you can see how it pulls this tent out this way up above, so you have it nice and taut. But remember, before you try and do what I just did, make sure you get your your both sections together. And that's pretty taut and tight. Um, I wish I'd practiced this tent before I went out with it because I got caught in the rain. And there's two vestibules. And I this TVEC isn't long enough for both vestibules. So what I do is pull it out on one side. And then I just use one exit for to keep, you know, keep, keep my shoes off of everything. And at least some place where when I do put the, the fly on there, at least I have a place to cook at if I want to. Next, I'm going to get the fly and put that over it. I had just repacked this in, in the bag because it was so muddy and nasty that I, uh, I had to let it dry out for a while after I cleaned it. 
but I'm finding the yellow colored ones so I can get that up first up and over because it's going to go to the front I'm going to find my center line and there should be up underneath once I get this straightened out let me see here some velcro stays yeah there's one about right here that I can um, velcro to my pole loosely so that if I have to adjust this at least it won't get caught up on anything there the other one should be up here at the front and they are on both sides of the downside of the uh, cover I definitely like to get those on and then readjust when I need to. Just that one. And I'm putting them in between the two buckles that go onto the poles. Not above one of them and not below the other lower one. So once I get that those done, I go and take my snap and snap it into the snap down below. I'm doing the same thing for this side and then I'm going to do the same thing for the back support here. I'm going to let it out a little bit first to see how much I will need to tighten it or not. And Then I like to make sure that my seam is straight up the middle on my poles as best as I can. And that's that. And now all I have to do is pull out the vestibules on this one. I'll pull out the vestibules and then I'll show you a couple of the extra tie outs on this tent. There's two strings here, one for each door. I usually pull them out to a certain point like that. Pull this one out and try and get it pretty equal to that one. Then you got your tie outs on the corners, which I just come down and hook it to the to the um, tent stake that I already have there. And I, I will do this to every corner. That's why I try not to push my tent stakes down too far so I can get these up. And then this vestibule, which will be my enter entrance and exit vestibule, I'll put my last two stakes up here. Well, I only have one, so now I gotta compromise here. And then put that. And like I said, I'm just gonna try and make it taunt. It should. It looks pretty good just the way it is. But that's the setup for the Tiger Wall UL2. As you can see, it has the two vestibules, one on each side. This is the foot end, technically, and the head end, because it tapers down to the feet. My dogs are saying hi to everybody. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is the, uh, the Fly Creek. And it's the same setup, the same kind of pole system. And they also give you this extra piece of pole in case you snap your pole. At least you got something to fix it with. So I'm just going to put this together. Unlike the uh, Tiger Wall, this does not have the, um, the extra expander pole in the middle there. Like you saw on that one. Make sure all my connections are in right there. Make sure these are all in right here. 
Gonna stick this in the grommet here. Stick this one in the grommet here. And then come to the back one and get this in the grommet here. There's the pull set up for that. Now also, the weight difference between the two are a quarter of a pound. The, um, the Tiger Wall HVU02 is two and a half pounds. And the uh, Fly Creek HVU02 is two and a quarter pounds. So, let's see, I'm just gonna stake out this pole here this should be fine and I have it nicely stretched out now what you do is just start by taking this one is right here a little different you got this hook here it's not just a snap over it's just a snap you rotate it so you can snap it on here like that I know you probably can't see this far away but now I can show you get the camera and show you a little closer what I'm doing is just taking on my now my hooks and hooking up hooking them up to the poles. I haven't decided which tent I like better because they're both pretty decent. But I have advantages with the UA2, the not the the, uh, the uh, Tiger Wall over the Fly Creek because that has two doors, that has one. So I'm just going to get the camera, bring you a little closer, and show you the hooks. So this is the hook I was talking about. It's a little plastic piece right here and that just snaps onto that there just like that it snaps right on and then you just clip your clips all the way up and then in the front you got the two on this pole and see I had this pretty tight uh, not too tight it's actually pretty good actually um, and then this one I did a lot better as well as so you can see the the vestibule right there let me see if I can get you to see this sorry about my hands let's see I know this this is not the vestibule I'd probably use to get in and out of but because I have the, the Tyvek more on the other side but you just open the vestibule like that roll this back and I know it comes to a certain point right down here this is where your tie out is for it so you can leave the door open again I used I was hammocking a lot previously and then I had a, a Z-Pex duplex it was nothing wrong with it it just wasn't for me but there's the vestibule space to the tent. And if I left that other one out, you, you can see it there. It's big, nice size. So I'm just gonna unzip the tent. It's not too hard one-handed. And then this is the inside of the Tiger Wall, which I ordered a gear loft as well. It's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty spacey in here. So it fits a 76 inch, I have a 76 inch Nemo um, insulated pad and it fits from one end to the other, no problem. And um, with a couple, with some room to spare as well. So, but also on this tent, if I wanted to, 
I have all these other pullouts. There's this pullout here I can pull out. Also, I should have two scent stakes that have this pulled out here too, so it keeps the fly away from the screen. So I could do that as well. I just didn't bring out enough tent stakes for that one. But on this one here, I have the fly to put on yet. And then um, a few tie outs, sure. So that's why I'm saving these stakes to finish this tent here. But and again, I like, since this is the entrance, I should have had my, this is the entrance here. I should have had my tie vac pulled this way so that I had that tie vac right there under the, the entrance, but I didn't place it that way. So now for the fly on this one, same thing, same concept Big Agnes does is color codes their tie outs as well. So I'm going to put my tent stakes in my pocket. I'm going to get this all unraveled. Get it switched around. And I know that at least one of my Velcros is right here in the middle, so I'm going to get that Velcroed on. And I'm just going to just quickly look for the other ones if they if I had any because I, I haven't set this one up in a while so I used that one the last time I went out but I'm not seeing any but you also see these hooks and I'll show you what we use those for in a minute so I'm just going to invert that over the tent make sure my seam is where I need it to be and I'm hooked up on my tent there I'm going to first pull down the back clip, get it extended all the way so it gives me leeway to be able to um, pull it up to the front. I think there is another Velcro one right here. No, there's not. That's only one Velcro is right in the middle of the tent where I just showed you. Just that. Now I get the front clips put in. And the front clips are maroon, the yellow, the back is yellow. We'll get them all clipped on. And then we'll finish out the tent and tighten down the uh, fly. So there's that. The uh, vestibule. I'm just going to do this now. Pulls out in two different spots. <laughs> Get that in and taunt. That's all right. Okay, get this one on the back down here. Gotta pull up my shepherd's hook a little bit so I can get it down over the loop. I used the shepherd hooks with this one when I got it for a little bit lighter weight. So I just have to pull that back up just a little bit to get it on to the shepherd's hook. All right, with this tent here, you got a few things, like I said, there was a hook under here I was going to show you, but I might have to unhook this so I can do it, because I have to get underneath. I have to make it a little loose so I can get underneath, but underneath up here in the middle where this pullout is, there's a hook that can hook to this loop right here. You hook that on to there. And then when you do your pull out, it pulls the tent out in, uh, inside. Let me get this back on. So you should probably hook those hooks up before you get it to where I had it to. 
And then this hook at the bottom here hooks onto this loop here. And then what I'm going to do is now take this guy out and pull it out and place my hook. Then I can take this same line and hook it on the same thing because you have these triangular uh, uh, clips that you can move them and tighten them. Is just adjust your tightening, your tension right there. These are amazing. I love these things. It makes it so much easier to uh, guide it out. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. But at the same time, I'm going to come around and tighten up these right here. So it pulls this a little bit more taut. Maybe even get this out a little bit more. So you don't have as much flapping going on. And essentially I could pull this out a little further. I was trying not to get in the way of the other tent. But for you to see what I need you to see, I'm going to pull that one out so I can show you. We also have these other tie outs here that can be tied out if there's a windier situation. So let me just show you real quick the vestibule for the Fly Creek. We got Velcro stays also on this one. They are on the tiger wall in two places. This comes up. The only problem is, is sometimes you can get caught up right up here and you got to be careful. So this can roll back and it's got its little tie outs right here and on the other side. And then this is going to be the inside of the U, the Flight Creek. Give me a second. I got to put the camera down. A little hard to do things with one hand. This is the inside of the, the Fly Creek UL 2 HV. And you see when I pulled out this side, how it pockets out a little bit there, gives you a little bit more space. But I could tighten this up a little more. It's a little saggy on this side for some reason. So just a matter of figuring out where you need to pull it out and then just doing it. But those are the two tents that I have. I also have a old Kelty Saluda too, but I've gone to the Big Agnes and I've been loving them as a tent, um, carrying that little bit of extra weight as opposed to the Z-Pax duplex tent is not an issue for me. Uh, I just seem to like these tents a lot better. Not, not that there's anything wrong with the Z-Pax, it was great, but it just wasn't for me. But there are my two tents. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll walk around together. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and if you want to see more, give me a like, subscribe to my channel. And um, with my other videos, my cooking videos also, I want to throw this in there. I'll probably do another video just on the cooking part alone. If you want to see any more of my cooking videos, feel free to make a comment down below and uh, tell me what you'd like me to cook for you what you'd like to learn how to cook and then I can go off of those and make some videos of what you are looking forward to and what you're interested in cooking so until then I hope you have a happy hike and 2020 hikers be strong be safe and have a great time out there we'll see you on the trail Hey guys, Chef Coco back. I just wanted to add this to my video. I know this is going to be at the end, but this is that crossbar right here. And you can see how it hooks into these things here. Uh, it's like a pivot, a pivotal um, hook. So just make sure that when you're putting it on that you are 
putting your pole together, okay, and then put it in those hooks. And like you, like like the um, Fly Creek as well, it um, has your hooks here that hook down and hook onto your poles. So this is the bar. I wanted you to see this a little bit more up close and see how it pulls out these this tiger wall two-person tent. A little bit more at the top gives you more room. And this was the vestibule that I was actually what I used to get in and out of. But I'm probably going to get more Tyvek and not cut any Tyvek and just leave it as is. This is the back side of the, um, the tent. This is actually the head side. I think it tapers down just a little bit. If you look at the specs, I don't have the specs on me. But it does, this is the wide, little bit of the wider end, and then the foot end is a little narrower. Do I feel that it's a two-person tent? Well, if you are uh, a proportion person that's a little skinny, uh, if you're a big person, um, if you're six foot one or six, uh, five, I'm five eight, and I'm not a tiny woman, but I'm also not that heavy, but I'm more comfortable in this two-person tent by myself as opposed to sharing it with somebody. So, because this way it gives me my room for my gear. I like my gear to be inside my tent with me. That's the only thing about my hammocks I didn't care for is I had to have a gear sling underneath and it would fall out and stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, I love my hammocks because I get the best sleep in a hammock for sure. But um, I just thought I'd show you this one again without the uh, fly cover on it so you can see how this tent sets up and how it looks. But I would definitely use this as for a one person tent because I bring my border collie with me and sometimes and he will sleep in the tent with me so it's more than enough room for the both of us. So, but it, and it does have side pockets in there inside on the walls right down there is one there's one on each side so you do have those pockets there but like I said I'm getting a gear sling to go up here in the top that's going to tie off in these loops that are right inside here and it ties off to up here it's going to be like a trapezoid shape not a square shape uh, so I can put more gear when I need it uh, easily accessible up above me so but it's a great tent. I love both of them. Again, this is this is the um, Fly Creek tent. Again, this is a phenomenal tent. I really love it. I just don't have it pulled out on this side, and I really got to work on getting this flatter on this side. I don't know why it's like that right now. But, um, it is a great tent, great vestibule space. Uh, I know a couple people that own this tent also, and they love it. Uh, I know one person that I watched, Try Try, and I watched uh, her hike last year, and uh, she also used this one, but an older version, um, and she loved it, so, again, just got to work on some fine-tuning of this tent and tweaking it out. Sorry about my shadow. The sun's getting ready to set. Just working on this in, in general, so on my tie-outs. It's been a while. It's been too much, uh, really, really cold and a lot of rain where I live. So I haven't gone hiking. I was going to go today, this morning. But both places that I'm going to, it's going to be ice storms and snow. And I'm just not up for that right now. So I will get out there soon. Maybe I'll see, um, see you all at uh, the Appalachian Trail Kickoff Festival the first weekend in March. I will be there. Uh, hope to see everyone there. Happy hiking, and I'll see you on the trail.